Nick, you've mentioned before just about describe what the season just has been like up and down, but just in the last 24 hours, just what are the thoughts that kind of gone through your head and how have you just kind of just processed it since last night? Yeah, like you said, just trying to process everything. And, you know, obviously the season didn't go the way we wanted to, the way we had it planned. So just just trying to just process everything and settling in and just getting ready to go back home and see the family. How did this year impact you and just how did you grow at, individually as a person and a basketball player? You always you always grow during during tough times, you know, um, tough times in work. Um, a lot of times that's when your true colors are showed. And like I said, it wasn't an easy year, but the guys in the locker room, we – we we still were locked in no matter what was happening, wins or losses. We we went out and, and tried to win every single game. Nick, for you, just obviously this is gonna be a, a pivotal summer for you. Just what what's gonna what's going on into your decision process as you enter free agency, just kind of, you know, being here and everything. What's what's that process gonna be like for you now that it's um now that it's here? Uh, you know, I still got a lot of I got a lot of Weigh my options. My first time being an unrestricted free agent. Um, it's definitely a blessing. The situation that I'm in this year, it was. I had a lot of different feelings, <clears throat> a lot of different emotions, just knowing the whole contract situation. You know, but at the end of the day, I just I trusted in my body. I trusted in. I trusted in all the work that I put in in the off season, and and now that time is here. Um, so we'll see what happens. And this year, you obviously took steps on offense. You had, you know, initiated a few more plays. You got close to that double double. I know you wanted that, but just do you feel like with the way you played this year, it helps your mindset more that you've improved in ways that you feel like you're ready for this next step, whatever it may be. I think yeah, this year has definitely helped me, um, but it's also just showed me the areas <clears throat> in my game that I really, I really want to grow in. Um, like I'm just, I feel like I'm far from being a, a finished product and. I have a lot of a lot more work to put in, and that'll happen this off season. Obviously, you have you don't know yet uh, what the summer will hold and what kind of offers you'll get. But the organization obviously values you. You've said in the past you'd like to be here. Um, how confident are you that there's a happy medium that you guys can reach and that you'll be back here? I mean, we'll see. You know, at the end of the day, business is business, and I'll have to weigh my options. Like I said, um, I'm an unrestricted free agent, so it, it'll be my decision at the end of the day. So I'll just have to talk with my family, my agents, pray about it, and, you know, see if that's the best fit. Uh, would you consider an NFL offer? Uh, my frame, my frame a little, a little too wiry, but if I had a different frame, for sure. No, but in uh, all seriousness, do you view free agency as an exciting or a stressful endeavor? I think it's exciting. For me, at least. I know everybody's situation is different, but for me personally, I mean, it's fun. It's exciting. The unknown of everything, um, the, the the position that I put myself in over these past couple of years is really amazing. You know, I just got to thank God and just be grateful because, you know, it, a lot of things could have happened. Um, I'm, I'm appreciative of Brooklyn for even just giving me the opportunity to be here and supporting me and, you know, and like I said, we'll see what happens. You know, at the start of the year, you're coming into your first contract year unrestricted, really, and you're playing a lot of drop coverage and on offense, you know, you're running a double big lineup for really the first time in your career. Did that kind of weigh on you maybe in a way where the things that you're known for weren't being showcased as much at the start of your contract year? And, you know, if so, how did you deal with that? Because we really didn't hear anything about that. As far as the beginning of the year, it was tough with with the, the ankle injury that I had, spraining my ankle early on. And then, like you said, the lineups were different. We were figuring stuff out with the defenses. Um, JV was implementing his system. So it was a filling out process for everybody. And it wasn't easy, but... Uh, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm able to adapt to any type of situation. If if it's drop, if it's switching, if it's any type of lineups, at the end of the day, I need to just be able to adapt. And I feel like, you know, I was resilient throughout the whole year, especially when I came back from the injury, and, and now we're here. 
aside from just the basketball end of, you know, what it's been like playing for the Nets, just from a lifestyle perspective, how have you felt about, you know, living in Brooklyn? Oh, man, Brooklyn has really, it's really grown on me. It's, it's a, a city that I've grown to love since I've been here these past, going on five years. Um, just everything about it, the the fashion, the culture, the pride that people have here. Um, you know, obviously, we, we have good fans, but this year we didn't deliver the way that we wanted to. Um, but um, Brooklyn, the support, the support here and everything, it definitely means a lot. Nick, you mentioned about just how you're resili resilient. How did you see that resiliency throughout you and your teammates and just kind of what are you most proud of as a group that you guys were able to be able to manage just the ups and downs of this year? Yeah, like I said, it wasn't easy for anybody having a coaching change in the middle of the year. Um, it's, it's never easy. Uh, I think it's like my, um, K.O. was my fourth coach and also, you know, he, K.O., you got to give him a lot of credit. He did a phenomenal job. He came in every day. All the, the whole coaching staff, but especially K.O., he was put in a pretty tough situation and he got a lot out of us. Um, so um, definitely appreciate him pushing us um, as, a, as a coach. I think he did a great job being being in the role that he was given. And as, as far as the players, we, like I said, we really grinded. We grinded throughout throughout the coaching changes, the different offenses, the different defenses, and it wasn't easy. It's never easy, but we did we did the best we could. And you talked about just the free agency part, just how how excited you are as you hold a football. You played football when you were a kid, and just through your journey, what do you think high school Nick Claxton would say right now if you knew that this process would take you all the way from college to the NBA to now in a situation where you're looking at offers and seeing what people and people wanting you? Man, I mean, yeah, as far as my journey, you know, I wasn't one of those kids that everybody was always like, he's going to be that guy. Like, I was a late bloomer in middle school, high school, college, even now in the league. I feel like the best is yet to come. Um, but I would just tell myself to just keep working and just to not get complacent and keep that same chip on my shoulder that I've had since I was drafted like a few years ago. Nick, when you look at your tenure in Brooklyn overall, obviously you touch a little bit on like, you know, KO being like your fourth coach. You had the big three era. Like, how would you summarize in, in total everything that's kind of gone on for you in, in Brooklyn during your years here? Because it seems like a lot's like happened in that span. <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's been wild. It's been chaotic. It's been a whirlwind. I'm not gonna sit here and lie, but um, as far as me personally, I feel like I've really grown a lot from from everything. I've I was able to play with some some future Hall of Famers here. Um, I've created some really good relationships with with teammates. I've learned a lot from from every single year. I've taken something and I've grown from that. And at the end of the day, that's all you can do um, as a as a human being and you know, hopefully the best is yet to come, wherever that is for me. And I just know that I gave it I gave it my all these past five years. Obviously part of your decision, you know, when you look in total of everything, Brooklyn's going to hire a coach. Mm -hmm. You don't know who it's going to be yet, obviously, but w what would you look for in a coach when you've got to make your own kind of decision um, for yourself and free agency? Yeah, I think that'll happen here um, sooner rather than later. And I just want transparency, somebody that's going to keep it real with me, just – look at me as a man and, and just tell me whatever the, the plan would be and we go from there. Nick, you mentioned being here. Obviously, this is the first year, I believe, that you haven't made the playoffs. Just how do you, I guess, you know, we asked some of the guys, how do you try to, to deal with that? Because obviously it's a new feeling for a lot of the vets, but for you, just how does that kind of motivate you um, this offseason? And also do you look at this year as maybe not what you guys wanted it to be? Yeah, it's definitely not what we wanted it to be. You always want to be in that that playoff situation, and even going back to the past couple of years being swept, it's just it's very unsettling. Like it's like eight losses in a row, and then this year not making the playoffs is is extremely unsettling. And at the end of the day, you want to be you want to compete. You want to have an opportunity to win every single night. So, um, especially here, you know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but everybody everybody just has to be better. I have to be better. We all everybody has to look themselves in the mirror and and just just keep getting better.